So just a little update, I finally got one of the Sega CDs working, although technically they both should work, but a little problem. So here's one of the units. So as you see, I soldered in the wires at the solder points and put in this type of glass fuse. It's a 1.6 amp fast acting fuse, glass fuse, but it's working. Um, here's the problem. This board this board's okay, as in, this is the one that had that uh, red capsule or black capsule soldered on here very shoddily, and it didn't even hold, like the wide refrain, and the, you saw the glo solder glob. Anyways, this board's in physically excellent condition, no physical damage, yet, for some reason, I tried this board in both units, and it just, for some reason, the units wouldn't power up, so... I have no clue what's going on here, sadly. The board in here, though, is the one with the cap that disintegrated. And, well, all I did was just put in the new fuse. I haven't touched the backside. Surprisingly, the board that suffered uh, the worst is actually working, as I'll show you right now. comes on cap is still disintegrated and there and yet it's working flawlessly so far um let's see. version 1.10 so not the first release I believe the American Sega CD's got version 1.1 BIOS the Japanese had the original 1.0 I think that was updated later in Japan the Sega CD Model 2s have the 2.0 BIOS, and when you start a, um, or play on the on Genesis emulator, you usually have the uh, 2.0 BIOS and the different music. So yeah, and 12 years later, and I'll finally get to use this. What happened was, back 2001, I was like, what, 7 maybe? I don't know, I'm too tired, to, too lazy to math. Either or, I wanted Sonic CD and I knew it had a PC release. At that time, I thought the Sonic games were on PCs because when I was little, the first time I saw it was on a PC. Little did I know it was with the Genesis emulator. So, I saw Sonic CD and it's a Sega CD. I thought, oh, that's just a fancy name for a computer, for the computer CDs because I have the Sonic & Knuckles PC collection and that said Sega PC on it. But, no. I had absolutely no clue that there was such a thing as the Sega CD. So the way the Model 1 works, since Sega wanted to keep the interaction with this thing very minimal, to open it, you press the reset button. And it's not opening, which makes me think this is probably the Sega CD that had the... Oh, no, it opened. It's gonna say... One of them had a drive that was stubborn, but this one opened. Look, blank CD. Not sure if it's used. Ew, Memorex. I don't know if it's any good, but a couple members on the assembler forums didn't like it. Eh, at least I got a free CD out of this. I'll just put this down here. Um, like I said in the first video, neither system reads the disc, so I'm not hoping that's going to magically start working but just to show you put in your Sega CD game and it does not like the Sega CD apparently or Sega CD games oh Okay, looking, I just had a glance up and for some reason it says press start to start the game, so I got a controller right here. Let me see if that does anything different. I highly doubt it. It's probably just the system's just, like I said, not in full working order yet. There we go.
Press start. Ah, yes. I wonder why it requires you to use the controller instead of just pressing the reset button. And yeah, as you can see, the disc is in there, but it's just not working. Huh. It's reading as an audio CD. I wonder... No, it doesn't even seem to be reading as audio CD. And there's the BIOS format. I'm guessing that's to format the system memory, so I'm not going to delete whatever save is on there now because I'm curious if there were saves. Yeah, it's not even reading the disc as a music CD. Well, that sucks. But. I'm going to try to fix it. Wait, is this CD even looked like it was spinning? Let's see. I'm in the... Okay, I hear this... I hear something in there. Yeah, I don't know what this thing's doing, so I'm going to have to try to fix this. If need be... Yeah, it's spinning, I can see, from because the label's facing a different way, but... I'm going to try to mess around with the potentiometers. Unfortunately, the way the Sega CD is up, this is going to be really difficult, because I'm going to have to pop up, every, pop off the Genesis, pop off the top, uh, probably pop off the RF shield, but then I'll leave it off until I'm done. Adjust. Put the top back on, put the Genesis back on, and turn it back on. Um, and this, the top half of the case for some reason is tricky to get on and off. Uh, a little s slightly, not too uh, hair pullingly hard, but it gets really annoying. So trying to fool around this is just going to get really annoying. Well, that's all I have to update. I do not know exactly what's going on with this power board and why it's not working. But one is, so getting close. And until next time, well, I guess until then, I'll see you guys later.